Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Today we have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Moveset Video Guide on how to use Rhyperior, the evolution of Rhydon. Honestly, I think Rhydon looks a lot cooler, but Rhyperior is still a fantastic Pokemon. A great wall and a great tank. Just a good offensive Pokemon, defensive Pokemon mixed into one. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and also leave a suggestion of the other Pokemon you'd like to see me cover next. We got a whole lot of Pokemon to cover. I'm uploading two or three Pokemon videos a day. You got these, you got Wi Fi battles, you got Shutdown Lives as well. So if you do enjoy these, make sure you also subscribe to the channel. My end of the year goal is 300,000 subscribers. So hoping we can get there uh, by the end of the year. So, right here, once again, is a fantastic Pokemon that can be used in all tiers, whether it be OU. U, U, R, U, whatever tier you want to use a shoe. I bet this Pokemon works in Ubers too. Just because it's bulky enough to live a hit from some Pokemon and ground type is a great offensive typing. So, Rhyperior's first set we're going to have is Choice Band. This is the OU Choice Band or Life Orb set. Again, you can substitute Choice Band or Life Orb. Choice Band gives you the 1.5 times attack boost, whereas Life Orb gives you 1.3 times at sacrificing your life but allowing you to switch up moves. The reason we're running max speed on an Adam in Nature Rhyperior is because this speed tier outspeeds Skarmory. One of the most defensive Pokemon in the OU tier, which your Stone Edge, with even Stealth Rock not on the field, has a 50% chance to 2 hit KO. A 50% chance to 2 hit KO Skarmory. And if Stealth Rock are up and you land two Stone Edges, Skarmory is dead. You are faster than them. You're also faster than defensive Scizors, uh, which is why Earthquake and Stone Edge are fantastic. You are absolutely nuking defensive Pokemon like Cresselia and Blissey. Nothing in OU appreciates a hit from this Pokemon. So the moveset is Earthquake, Stone Edge, your dual stabs, the best cover. Edgequake is just incredible, right? Like, there's very few Pokemon that resist that combo, right? There's Claydol and there's like Golurk, and I believe that's it off the top of my head. Uh, there might be something else, but first off, Claydol's not. Well, Clito is in the game, and Golurk's not in the game, and there's another move set on this thing that also destroys Clito as well. But yeah, so, uh, again, you want to run that max speed, you want to run the max attack for the added power. Solid Rock is a fantastic ability because it weakens the power from super effective attacks, allowing you to even live, like, Ice Core Crashes from Weavile decently and Earthquakes from Gliscor decently. Speaking of Gliscor, you have Ice Fang, which guarantee KOs max HP Gliscor which is great for the spe uh, special defensive and the offensive variants, and even some defensive variants as well, whereas Stone Edge will 2 kill them anyway. And then you do have uh, Megahorn, and Megahorn's really cool because it allows you to Oko Latios, it allows you to uh, easily, easily, easily 2 a KO Tangrowth, it's a KO on bulky Starmie upon switching, so it's just a fantastic Pokemon for that, even Pokemon like Slowbro as well get 2 a KO. Now the reason you might want to go Life Orb over Choice Man is because for example, Stone Edge into Megahorn of Life Orb KOs Tangrowth. Uh, you do miss out on the, the two hit KO on Skarmory, but if Stealth Rock are up and you've pressured Skarmory to switch in a couple times, or you simply pair it with a Magnezone, then Rhyperior is still really good. But I like Choice Band just for the added power. Stone Edge, even on resistances, like they don't, they take too much. So Pokemon that are good partners for this, whether you run the Life Orb set or the Choice Band set, Rotom Wash is probably one of the better partners. Not only does it resist the water type attacks coming out at Rhyperior, but it also can um, Thunder Wave things and will o -Wisp things, allowing Rhyperior to potentially outspeed them as well. Latios is a pretty easy switch into Rotom Wash, so you can Thunder Wave that. Uh, right period also can take the likes of Weavile and Infernix, so it doesn't really have to deal with like teammates and that sort of thing. It doesn't really have to rely on its teammates in order to deal with those physical Pokemon. But obviously, Scizor is really good as well as a, a partner. I like Braylon plus Rhyperior as well. Uh, Braylon appreciates Rhyperior luring and destroying Tangrowth with two Mega Horns, especially if it's Life Orb set. And of course, likewise, Rhyperior appreciates Breloom dealing with water types like Azumarill and Rotom Wash. It can't necessarily switch in on both, but it appreciates Breloom just, you know, dealing with them via Bullet Seed. So again, uh, when you have a, a choice band breaker like this, and you're a tank in itself, you definitely want to pair it with Pokemon that can U-turn and Volt Switch. So Glass Score, even though Double Ground, it's still fine. Um, offensively. Uh, two ground types that are actually really offensively that work really well. Funnily enough, is Rhyperior plus Mamoswine. They do very similar things. Of course, Rhyperior's Stone Edge is just stronger, and Mamoswine appreciates that Rhyperior absolutely murders Rotom upon switching if it tries to come in on a Stone Edge, and also takes uh, the fire type attacks aimed at Mamoswine, though Mamoswine does a thick fat 
as well, but it also appreciates Rhyperior dealing with Scizor too. Again, you could go Fire Fang for the KO on Scizor, but that Mon gets absolutely nuked by Earthquake and Stone Edge anyway, so I don't think there's any point. Like, all variations of Scizor will be 2 KO by Earthquake, and when I mean 2 KO, I mean like they're going to take like 80% of their special defensive from Earthquake, and you are faster and can KO them. Bullet Punch bounces off just because of Solid Rock. Of course, there's also the OU Rock Polish set, and this one uses Rock Polish to double Rhyperior's speed, making it 392 speed, allowing it to be... Actually, you can even go a little bit less if you want to, but um, just because 392 isn't really a speed tear, and the speed tears out under that would be like Weavile and stuff like that, but again, when you're using slow Pokemon like this, I would never want to be in a situation where my opponent has a Rhyperior, and because they were always going to be faster than me because they're max speed Jolly, I know it's really niche, but that's just my thought process behind it. Uh, if the bulk doesn't actually let you survive any hits in particular, it's just wasted bulk. I'd rather have speed, that way I can get off more attacks. But yeah, plus two, this thing is a, a menace to the tier. Earthquake and Stone Edge are just super, really strong. And then your last move I have as, uh, super, really strong. And then your last move I have is Ice Fang, that KO on Garchomp, that KO on Dragonite. Um, obviously also doing a ton to Gliscor, which doesn't even do much back with Earthquake. So, and you could potentially knock out Glasgow as well after uh, Stealth Rock damage, or if you have already uh, weakened it uh, before that. Um, but yeah, so just using a Rock Podge variant of it. This can use Spike Support, so Frostlass can be a good Pokemon. You could even use this one if you wanted. Uh, you could use it with potentially suck, uh, Shuckle for Sticky Web. And I, I like the combination of Rhyperior plus Feraligator just because they muscle through similar Pokemon. Rhyperior appreciates Feraligator weakening Rotom. And likewise, uh, uh, Alligator appreciates Rhyperior weakening Rotom. Next up, we have UU Choice Band. Very similarly to the OU uh, Choice Band set, except there is a new target. I don't think you need Ice Fang just because while there is Flygon in the tier, when you look at the UU tier, uh, that's like the main dragon the Ice Fang would actually be doing much versus. Uh, whereas Crunch, I mean, Stone Edge does like, it's a 2 a on Choice Band. Uh, Choice Band Stone Edge is a 2 a on Flygon anyway. But the big thing about Crunch is, is it allows you for a reliable hit on uh, Cresselia, which I really like that. Also, it allows you for a reliable hit and KO on Miss Magus. Now, obviously, you do have Megahorn and Bronze on, uh, for Crunch as well. Now, obviously, Choice Band Megahorn is going to be doing a million percent to Cresselia and Bronze on anyway, but I like that reliable uh, crunch and uh, just not having to risk missing. And also, just you're naturally bulky enough to live like a spec shadow ball for Miss Magus, so I like the fact that you can knock it out with crunch. I like max speed too because you're faster than min speed. Uh, Metagross for one, which is pretty cool if they're like a Stealth Rock Metagross, you're always outspeeding variations of it on stuff, and you 2 KO them, slash beat them down with Earthquake anyway. I, again, I like max speed on Pokemon like that. It also just punishes people that run like, you know, you're faster than Registeel guaranteed and, and things like that. So I just I just like that. I like being able to take advantage of that. And also, I think the big thing is you're faster than Foul Play Umbreon, and that mod does not appreciate this. So again, uh, in terms of partners with this, Fortress is a great partner if you're playing UU just because it can set up spikes and vaults which are way. Um, Bronzong is immune to the Earthquake attacks aimed at Rhyperior. Uh, Blastoise is a cool partner too because Rhyperior just muscles through things like Chansey if they want to use it in the tier, and it muscles through even unaware Pokemon and like Snorlax, which is something that Shell Smash Blastoise has a little bit of trouble with. So uh, sleepers like that can work. And uh, likewise, I also like Rotom Mo because it takes the uh, grass and water type attacks aimed at Rhyperior. It works really well. Uh, and obviously, bulky waters like Milota can work really well uh, with this Pokemon too. Uh, Trick Room Sweeper. This one can work on Trick Room teams. This is using a Brave Nature Rhyperior, max HP, max attack. Uh, again, same attacks we've been talking about. I like Life Orb just because you're on Trick Room. I think you want to be able to switch the moves and you still hit crazy hard anyway. Uh, in terms of partners, obviously you want Pokemon that set up Trick Room and support it. Uxie is a very good one. Can set up Stealth Rock. Can U-Turn out. Can Trick Room. Can even Memento if it really wants to. Cresselia can do the same exact thing, but with Lunar Dance, which is nice. And can come in on fighting type attacks aimed at Rhyperior. And most attacks aimed at Rhyperior as well, like ground type attacks. Um, and other Trick Room uh, users, if you're using it in OU, Crawdon is a good Trick Room user because it's slow but very strong. Uh, Scizor is still also, SD Scizor is really good on Trick Room. And then if you're using it like in the UU tier, Choice Band Snorlax with Rhyperior can work. Spex Torkoal with Eruption can also work too, uh, just as options for it for the Trick Room variations. And then of course, a special defensive set can work, and this can be used to deal with 
Specsmith Magius, or this can be used to eat hits from even Scald uh, Raikou in the UU tier, from Scarf Gardevoir, you're not too shot by that too, while it still naturally checks Honchkrow, which is pretty cool. Uh, it can live in Earth Power from Needle King, which is pretty cool, and KO back with Earthquake. Uh, so it just allows it to check more of the special attackers while still getting a rock. So the set is Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Rock Blast, and Swords Dance, Careful Nature, Max HP, Max Special Defense. I think you can definitely tailor the EV spread to what you want to do. I just like this when I'm not, like what I've been testing, like I, I don't necessarily want Rhyperior. I haven't found like a specific tier that I, or like a specific speed tier or a specific benchmark that I like for this Pokemon that I need it to out like to outspeed maybe some variations of Registeel could work with a little bit of speed for that but I like the special defense it also helps out versus like uh, attacks from like Torkoal and Typhlosion and those tiers too and even if you go lower to the RU tier you can live like a blizzard from a bomb so obviously Giga Drain is still problematic but you check Charizard uh, Focus Blast and you knock it out with Rock Blast I like Rock Blast as well over Stone Edge just because you're bulkier and you have more chances to hit it's good for substitutes and you have Swords Dance to boost your stats as well you can use Roar over Swords Dance if you really really want to also if like a Pokemon like Venomoth which is a very strong Pokemon in the RU tier if it has Quiver Dance up, as long as it doesn't have Giga Drain, it won't knock you out, and you'll knock it out in return with a Rock Blast. So, just using it as a tank for its actual thing, right? To be able to tank attacks from birds, from from bugs, from special attackers, even super effective special attackers, and just either KO back and also set up rocks for your team. And then lastly, we do have Sub Swords Dance. This can work in OU as well. Um, I just put Sub as deep because it's a, it's a good set in general. The 132 uh, HP EVs allow you to not have your Seismic Toss beaten by Blissey. So you can sub in front of Blissey. They can't Toxic you anyway, but if they try and go for Seismic Toss, it will take two Seismic Tosses to break your sub, which you'll be getting back Leftovers anyway and can set up Swords Dancer safely. The 164 attack allows you to outspeed Min Speed Clefable while also outspeeding Pokemon like Blissey, Hippadon, and things below there. And then the rest was just put into attack just to have overall strength for this thing. This thing can be very scary because Rhyperior with Solid Rock and Leftovers is such a pain to bring down. Toxic Spike is a pretty cool teammate. Drapion can do that as well. Spikes are always good with Skarmory and stuff like that. And this guy can take advantage of the fact that like Magnus on Thunderbolts to, to kill Skarmory so Rhyperior can sub out that. And sub just basically uses prediction, right? If my opponent has out a Pokemon that I beat. Right, or let's say like a Scizor, Scizor which goes for U-turn, and uh, they expect me to go for Earthquake. I sub up as they go Rotom, and it's Choice Scarf Rotom. First off, not only does Rotom have to hit Hydro Pump to break my sub, but this is an offensive right period. You're doing like 70% to offensive Rotom with Stone Edge off the rip, which can help your teammates later. So it's just a fantastic way of using it. This is a really old school set as well. Used it way back in the day. It allowed Rhyperior uh, to really put in work, especially under Sand with the Sandstorm Special Defense boost. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, Sand is not infinite at the moment, so this thing doesn't take hits as well as it used to uh, when it was under Sand just because it didn't have to worry about Sand being gone. But nonetheless, Rhyperior is still a pretty nasty Pokemon, and Sub SD can really potentially sweep in, especially if it's not like Underwear Clef. And even if it is Underwear Clef, if it's Special Defensive, Rhyperior just does not care, man. That's a 405 attack Earthquake coming out. Some Pokemon don't even hit that hard with a Choice Band. So, yeah, besides that, other options, not in this set, but in general, right here, Fire Fang, but I don't think it's necessary to pick up the Guarantee KO and Scizor just because Earthquake and Stone Edge are nuking them anyway. A Hammer Arm can work on the, um, on the Trick Room sets just to lower your speed. Avalanche can work on this set as well, like just to deal with Gliscor if you're using OU instead of uh, UU, which is pretty cool, um, just because it'll be doubled in power after Gliscor Earthquakes you. Uh, I don't like Smackdown, I don't think it's worth it because people will just switch, so in order to beat Skarmory, I would rather have a strong Stone Edge because at plus two, Skarmory is, like, if it's your max attack, it's not appreciating the Stone Edge at all anyway. Um, and besides that, that's basically it, I think, when it comes to Rhyperior. You can use counter sets, you can use curse sets, but I don't think they're as good. I think that's a little bit wasted on Rhyperior. Like, the main thing about this Pokemon is you either want to use it for its offensive pressure, or you just want to tank hits and be able to set up Stealth Rock and reliably check certain Pokemon in the tier, whereas KOing them back. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Uh, I do have other videos, obviously, coming out later today, so feel free to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.